What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Going to be playing some games on PTCGO this morning and going to be doing my best to try and win games. Last night, I was on PTCGO after the Full Grip Games League tournament, just playing around with some new deck ideas and was just getting straight bodied. It seems as if the metagame for Unbroken Bonds has escalated very quickly and people have really figured out their decks and got a lot of cool stuff going on, a lot of very good ideas out there. And it has become very difficult already to play more meme-like decks here on the ladder without getting just shredded. So I'm going to be trying to get some real meta mainstays here together. I really liked the version of Reshiram and Charizard with Jirachi that I saw last night at the Full Grip Games League Tournament, and also played against it on PTCGO. Super good, right? And it was uh, just very aggressive, very tough to play against for sure. I thought that that was very strong. So I'm going to be giving that a go here and see if I can't get a list together that I really enjoy. So we're going to try that out with the Rush Ram and Charizard deck. going to try... Throw Jirachi in there and see how we like that. Should be pretty good from what I've seen. Also, the mill tank was like nuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and just say, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try the mill tank, okay? Because the mill tank, it you know, when comboed with welder, can allow you to heal like 180 damage from your Rush Ram Charizard, which is absolutely game breaking. Like that's nuts. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a try for sure. We got. Let's see, escape rope, scope rope. There we go. At least one of those, maybe two of those, three switches, and we're gonna need some boards too. Escape board, and then, yes, my one secret rare, couple of other ones. And uh, should be something like that. Yeah, like, I don't know, five switch cards, see a couple of escape boards, some Guzmas. Cool, I know, listen. It's the same mill tank that I said wasn't worth it. I do have to I have to eat my own words, man. I was wrong there. So, yeah, let's see. We've got pretty much everything else looking good. Fiery Flints, cool. Fire Crystals, Ultra Balls, Nest Balls, Poke Gears. I mean, I think this is everything else that we should want. I'm not sure that there's too much anything else that we need to do differently in this version of the deck other than just put Mill Tank and Jirachis in and then a bunch of Switch cards instead of the other grindy cards that we were using in order to churn through our deck. We might, do we even like need a typical draw supporter? I don't think so. I think we just used a Dene as like our draw supporter when we want to draw cards like that. So I'm thinking that that's what we got. A Let Loose, that's actually the card I was thinking. We want a Marshadow, cool. and. My one criticism of this version of the deck is I'm not exactly sure how all this stuff just like fits on the bench, but uh, who cares? All right, we're gonna give it a shot. So we're gonna call this, this is no longer Lactose Intolerant Charizard. This is again, Milky's art. All right, that's uh, what we got going on here. Trying the milk out again with our Charizard deck. And then also I want to give, let's see, Zap Beast a try. I think that that is, a valid deck except i don't i don't truthfully even want to play the beast no i just actually kind of want to play zapto so i'm going to be trying to actually win some games this morning that's what i'm going to try and do i'm going to try and like put together what i think are probably like my three favorite decks which would just be straight zapdos and then charizard and then peek around those are like my favorite ones after getting just shredded on ptcgo last night i'm like all right enough fooling around, let's win some games and actually put ourselves in a situation where I feel like I'm confident in this new format with some new decks. Well, we play like nine, eight. They usually play like eight lightning energy. Yeah, that's like, that's like reasonable. All right. And then we also have a ton of room in this deck now with the, you know, absence of the beast stuff. I don't even think you need the beast stuff. I don't know. I was feeling like the deck was inconsistent without the beast stuff. I just want to beef up the consistency of the deck overall and make sure that we do the things that we set out to do consistently. That's all That's all I'm really trying to do here. Switches, rescue stretchers, escape rope, energy lotto. We can just play the energy spinner now. Spinner, and then 
what else do we? Yeah, yeah, that's that's about it, right? For the the old Zapdos deck, and then shrines. Oh, shrines are like better than that. So I'm I'm digging the shrines. Do shrine of punishment, and yeah, something like that. Thunder Mountain, cool lilies. Cynthia's I actually just want like another draw card in the deck to be honest as well not quite sure that we need the energy spinner eight energy is probably fine we probably don't need that thick of a zip strike line we could go with one and then we got a little bit more space here so i'm thinking that i want like a erica's or something like that and then probably like one, I don't know, Volkner or something. And we'll, we'll try that. I don't know. Volkner seems kind of meh, but like I definitely like more draw power in the deck. So that's cool. All right. Ship it. That's just Zap Dose. And then I also want Picaram as my third option. So we're going to try rolling in with those today and see how we go. What's up, everybody? Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning for some PTCGO action, and uh, should be a fun time. Hopefully you guys were able to catch my Rhydon deck that I showed off this, uh, what, this morning on YouTube. That was a lot of fun. And it appears as if I actually just do not have my, like, not seeing things here. Where is my... I think I think I deleted I, in like a fit of frustration. I'm pretty sure I deleted my Picaram deck last night. So I think we're like back to the drawing board with that with Picaram. Well, that's cool. We'll just uh, yeah. I was like I was I think I just gave myself the deletion treatment last night after a admittedly embarrassing performance with Pikachu and Zekrom. I was like, all right, we we out of here. I was like, this is this is embarrassing. So I just, uh, I think I deleted the deck. It's just what I did. So we're going to do that and that and then that. And then we got like some let looses in here too, uh, which is like the most busted part of this deck. And yeah, I think with these three decks kind of in like a, uh, a great space to get started here, with the new format, uh, I think that Blastoise is cool as well because it just like bodies Charizard. It's not even close, which is phenomenal. All right, so we've got these, and I can show off the Blastoise list. That's no problem. Then you're going to want like some Cynthia's. Yeah, you're going to want some Lilies in here. And then you're going to want some, you know, Ultra Balls in here. Yeah, you're going to want that for sure. And then you're also going to want like some energy switches. So we'll do that energy switch. And then we are also, thank you guys for being patient. I uh, I was up late last night till like 1.30 just like trying decks because I was like, I'm tired of, uh, tired of just getting wrecked. So, so I was like, I'm going to do some practicing and try to figure some things out. All right. We got uh, energy switch, multi switch. And then also Electro Power. And yeah, the tournament last night was a lot of fun. Brady was able to win with Granbolt, which was very interesting. I thought that that was cool to see the Granbolt deck doing well. I'm probably still playing order pads in this deck. Who am I kidding? Yeah, we got that. Some Guzmas. And I think I was running Erica in here still. But we'll see. We got lightning energy. And what's crazy is that there just still is not really any super good fighting deck in the format to be able to deal with Picaram, right? And similarly, there's just not really any super great water decks. I mean, there's Blastoise, right? But Blastoise has its own kind of consistency issues. I was trying out Porygon last night more as well. And I just was getting wrecked I, by this Charizard deck just went like... Turn one Kiawe, turn two Guzma, turn three Guzma, because they had Jirachi. The Jirachi just searched out everything that they needed. All right, what am I what am I missing in this deck right here? Nest balls. We definitely want to hit some nest balls in here, right? We got like two nest balls. What else, what else am I missing? Okay, I know there's got to be the electromagnetic, right? I think uh, we'll play like one of those. 
What else am I missing in here? Six cards. I know, I know I'm missing something. The Ray, I wasn't play. oh, Thunder Mountain Stadiums. Yeah, 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 we got those. All right, Thunder Mountain, Prism Star, as well as probably like a Viridian. Ah, the Zara Auras. That'd be good. Yeah, let's toss them in there for sure. Thank you guys. You guys rock. That's uh, that's why I ask. I always can trust you guys. All right, there we go. Zara Aura GX. And we'll throw like two of those guys in there. And then we're close. I wanted a field blower, at least one. And then what was the other card? Thunder Mountain, Viridian Forest. There's like one more thing. Lysander Labs. I don't typically play that card. Let's see. One more card that we usually, like a supporter. That's usually what it is. Just like a, you know, usually like an Erica's, I think. So maybe, I don't know. Something like that. A Zapdos. Oh, it is Zapdos. That's typically what I toss in here. Yeah. Well, do we need the Zapdos anymore? Zapdos is probably pretty good, to be honest. Yeah, I'm probably, Zapdos, honestly, is, is probably pretty busted. So we'll, we'll probably toss the Zapdos in here. I think, yeah, against like Charizard decks and stuff, you probably just want Zapdos to be able to just hit for some big numbers. Yeah, that seems good. The Tapu Koko GX is like probably still good, right? I think so. Two Let Loose and two Dedenne, that is a lot. I'm not gonna lie. But it's all pretty good. So I think that uh, it's probably just what we're rocking right now. I kind of low-key want an Erica's as well, just because that card's like insane in the deck, just allowing for some really explosive draw power. But the two Dedenne is like almost just, uh, you know, too good to pass up. So it does make me nervous just going without that extra draw card in here. But I think that we can probably make it work. All right, let's just, let's just rock this from now. Pika Pets, 2019. There we go. Cool. Now we're ready to roll. Thank you guys for your patience while we get these decks up and rolling. And let's, uh, let's try to win some games. All right, I'm putting my best foot forward this morning. We've got Milky Zard, Pika Pads, and Zapdos. Let's get it. I'm going to get started with Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX. Then I'm going to move on to some other things. But we'll start off with Pikachu and Zekrom and see how we do against what the morning crowd has in store for us thank you guys all for hanging out much appreciated on the thursday morning here and hopefully you guys are all having a great day at work school whatever day off what have you i know i'm very excited natalie is graduating from college this weekend so that's super sick and we're going to be doing that this weekend snow sniper Thank you for asking. I know actually we're sold out of codes right now, but thank you for checking on it. Uh, it's really, uh, yeah, you guys bought them all up. So we sold like something like 8,000 codes. We sold 8,000 codes during my live stream. So that was insane. And currently we are sold out of Unbroken Bonds codes until further notice. So I'll let you guys know when we restock, but thank you guys so much for supporting the shop and checking out 8,000 codes we went through. So that was, uh, yep, that was, pretty, that was pretty much it. We're tapped out. But, all right, Detective Pikachu was amazing, Alex. It was amazing. I loved it, but no spoilers. Hopefully, you guys can all go check it out. So uh, I think I'm playing against a, yeah, a Salazzle Mill deck. We should just absolutely straight wreck this thing. It should not be close. So let's uh, go in first. We're going to get a Pikachu and Zekrom loaded up quickly. And we're going to do that probably with like Electromagnetic Radar. I also want to get a Lily. But we're probably just going to Dedenne this hand away. So I'm thinking that we are going to just Nest Ball, get myself Zeraora, because we know we want that. And then I can Ultra Ball away probably the electromagnetic radar. I mean, honestly, I could electromagnetic radar away for like two guys or something and just go, but it doesn't really seem to matter. I mean, one or two. I think I actually only just want the one Pikachu and Zekrom since it appears as if I am playing against some sort of mill deck. 
or not mill deck, but like unknown hand deck. I just want to have as big of a bench as I can. And then we're going to go order pad just to see if we can thin the deck. We can't, so then we're just going to detene and draw some cards. Cool. And let's do that. We got Thunder Mountain and Energy Switch and Cynthia. So I can't. It's frustrating because I cannot throw the. Uh, yeah, I can't really get the Tapu Koko out of the active yet. I feel like this is probably fine. Let's just do that. And then Cynthia here. I guess. Could I have Guzmud? No, I couldn't have done it. I didn't have a lightning. If I had a lightning in my hand, I could have Guzmud with that, and we would have been good. Okay. So now I can, like, retreat, pop the Coco. I can retreat, energy switch, and pop the Coco. I've almost got a turn one attack, but not quite. So we're just going to retreat into the Pikachu and Zekrom there. We can energy switch off to the active, pop the Tapu Coco. I guess, right? Yeah. Pop the Tapu Coco onto these. And then if I let loose into a energy switch, then I got to turn one. So that would be pretty rad. Let's just go for it. I don't have anything else in this hand, so we're going to do what this deck does best and go for the turn one full blitz at all costs. Let's go. Yup. Give it to me. Honestly, 50-50 shot. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody ready? Cross your fingers. And it's a heads. Busted deck, honestly. Still good. Look at that. I prize so many of these bad boys, too. Does not matter. Does not matter. Let's go. Multi-switch. And we're getting to turn one. Full blitz let loose. Let's get it. All right, chat. That's why Pika Pads is so good. And we're getting a turn two tag bolt up in here. Let's get it. Insano deck. And we should just be in cruise control from here on out. Uh, I think that they're playing this Salazzle Unknown Hand deck, which means that I'm just going to be let loosing them as soon as they're even remotely close, tag bolting their Salazzles. I mean, just, just that's it. It's going to be insane. I don't think that it'll be close at all. Pikaram getting in there with a turn one knockout. I don't even care if you got four Salazzles. I think that my let loose should stop them as soon as they get close and give me an opportunity to just win the game. That's why we're still playing two let loose for sure. It's just that important. So we're going to attach to the bench Pikachu and Zekrom and then just Lily. I'm definitely not giving them another bench space. We'll order pad and see if we get heads. We don't. It's cool. We hit the one we needed. And then we're just going to tag bolt, knock out one of these. I don't know. We could knock out both Vulpix just because that could create some problems for them as far as their consistency goes because I think that they're going to evolve into Salazzle and then having to promote a Salazzle I don't think is actually what they want to do. I think they want to promote the Vulpix so that they can beacon for another Salazzle. So I'm going to disrupt them by making them promote a Salandit and that way they can't beacon this turn uh, unless they retreat into another Vulpix. And then we're going to be looking to attack just three more times, which isn't, I don't think, a lot to ask. But I can be positive that they are not playing any sort of GX Pokemon. I don't think they're playing any sort of GX Pokemon at all. So that's, uh, that's kind of what we got going on here. And that's a good point. Brett says knock out both Vulpix in case they play the... Uh, nine tails that cannot be hit by GX Pokemon. That would actually be pretty next level if they did play that just to give themselves some sort of stall ability there. That would be insane because every turn that they buy themselves with this deck is a you know uh, is a, another step closer to them getting their unknown hand. And it looks like they're just going to resource management here, throw the stuff back into their deck that they need in order to get themselves a little bit closer. I am a little bit concerned about just, uh, I guess, how quickly this deck does get a big hand size with all of the resources they have available. Think here, we're just going for, yeah, let's energy switch, thin the deck. We want to just chill out that Pikachu and Zekrom in the active here. We're just going to Cynthia. I'm not going to bother Guzming, the Salazzle, or anything like that. We're just uh, looking for 
some other stuff and I'm going to energy switch, probably just move some more energy around, make sure that I'm fully mobile out here. I do need to watch out in case they play like Wondrous Labyrinth or anything like that. I think I'm gonna Field Blower, their free retreater there, take that out of the equation and then full blitz. So I think next turn is the turn to let loose if I can. I'm going to attach an energy to my bench to Den AGX. Just give everybody in play free retreat. Next turn feels like the turn to let loose, especially if I can Guzma let loose, then we're for sure in it to win it. And it just uh, feels really smooth. So. I'm digging the way that this deck is functioning for sure. I mean, this is pretty much an ideal game for me. The double let loose is just, uh, it's like a love-hate relationship, right? Like I hate the fact that let loose is in the format right now because I think it's just really stifling and makes decks like Pikachu and Zekrom way too good. Like way better than they have any right being because it's just, uh, you get this huge 240 hit point Pokemon out into play on the first turn of the game, and then you can also limit your opponent to four cards. Like we saw, there's almost no reason that I should ever be dealing 150 damage, accelerating three lightning energy into play, and limiting my opponent to four cards all on the first turn of the game. That's just absolutely ridiculous, right? But that's what we did here, and it was not that hard, so that was kind of insane. We've got an order pad, so let's go get them. All right, we got Ultra Ball, and we're going to go get ourselves a Let Loose for sure. I only need to attack twice, so we're definitely doing that. Going to get rid of probably these guys right here. And we're just going to Guzma up one of these Salazzles for sure, and they're just, yeah, they're, they're scooping it up. A second Let Loose. Oh, jeez. That's right. Two Let Loose, too good, so... 1-0 with Pika Pads. We're going to rock that one more time and see if we can't... Oh, we got the Coco. Thank goodness. Yes. You know that I am in love with the Coco. There we go. Tapu Coco GX. Fantastic. Bob says, tag teams were a mistake. Change my mind. I don't know if they're a mistake necessarily, but I think that the... Let, you know, Marshadow makes them, in an indirect kind of way, Marshadow makes them way too strong because Marshadow disrupts the hands of setup decks, right? So setup decks, stage two decks need bigger hand sizes in order to be able to execute their strategies. Tag Team Pokemon GX need very little, right? I agree, Brett Fret pretty much hitting the nail on the head here. I think that uh, every single deck needs to be able to recover from an early let loose. And it is the gatekeeper of the format right now, meaning that the tag team Pokemon are just pretty much going to run wild unless you're playing a deck that can keep up uh, with, uh, you know, a potential turn one 250 uh, or 150 as well as limiting your hand to four cards. If you can keep up with that, then sure, you can play the game. But if you can't, then uh, yeah, you got to you got to take a seat, right? Because the Tag Team Pokemon GX decks are just absolutely insane in this format. Now, I am interested to see if I can actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Charizard deck. I was thinking that maybe we would get to play against the Charizard deck here since my opponent is rocking those beautiful Rush Ram and Charizard sleeves, as we see. However, it is not... Uh, not a Charizard deck. We're playing against a coughing deck. So the idea here is that we want to get as few Pokemon in play as we can. Unfortunate that I start the Let Loose Marsh Shadow, but it's all good. It certainly happens. Want to probably lead with like Zapdos or something like that. Just take a quick knockout here. So let's see what we can do. Fortunately, I do have Field Blower also, which is super dope. So we'll see. Tails on the order pad. Horrible card. All right, now we're going to go in here. I guess I don't really want to waste E-Powers without knowing that I can, uh, you know, do some things. I think I'm probably just going to save my Field Blower. I'm not, like, super confident that I'm launching an attack this turn. Well, I should have been a little more confident. Okay, so we can go get ourselves the Zapdos, that's for sure. But I guess the Zeraora is what would allow me to retreat 
So we could maybe attack with Zero Aura this turn, which would be cool. I could get rid of a Lightning Energy, sure. If we go get Zero Aura, I do have Tapu Koko Prism Star in the deck also. I might want to be a little bit more chill about how I do this, though, because, to be honest, I don't want to put all these Pokemon down into play if I don't have to. So we're probably just going to get ourselves Zero Aura. And that's uh, probably going to be it. I could probably Static Shock this thing for Knockout, but I'm not really going to go for that. Yeah, no, we're cool. I think just turn two attack is more my speed. Because if I burn this, I mean, I guess I would need, like, Energy Switch. I need a lot. Yeah, well, I don't know. Let's live a little. You guys trying to live a little? Let's go. I mean, I was going to end up doing this anyway. Next turn. So what's the difference? This turn, next turn, whatever. All right, let's go. What's up, Mr. Squeezel? Welcome. We did not hit what we needed. All right, so we're just going to pass. That is a suboptimal looking hand. If I ever saw one, that's not what we wanted. It's all good. Maybe we'll top deck out of it. I was dreaming of maybe hitting a nest ball here. If I just literally a nest ball and the rest of this hand has got the turn one plasma fist written all over it. But no nest ball, no ultra ball, no order pad, no nothing. Yeah, we are not getting in here. They're going to let loose me. Be my guest. Go ahead. Sure. Going to let loose me to four new cards. And those four new cards are way better than my other cards. And then they are going to have a wheezing attack as well. Oh, geez. This is starting to look a little bit sketchy here. Not sure how we do against this. This seems uh, kind of bad. They do have a zero card hand, though. So that is what we got going for us. They got a zero card hand. I do have the counter to their stadium. That's good. I can cycle another energy into the, you know, the zone there. Yeah, the discard pile. Excellent. Then I can Guzma. We're not going to Guzma. We're gonna, we got a Cynthia. Okay, so we need this, and then we need a Cynthia, and hopefully we can launch an attack. That would be good. Nope, definitely not. Let's see. Um, I mean, I guess I could Dedene. It just feels so bad. Sure. Okay. That's what we got. So we got here, here, the Pikachu and Zekron. It's going to need to happen eventually. And then we're just going to Deden AGX. This feels horrendous. I need to... Okay, there we go. At least we got the attack now. I can... He's got a zero card hand, so we like got to move. We got to move now. Let's go and just Ultra Ball away the order pad and that. And we're going to go get ourselves the... Coco, and I'm actually full blitzing this turn, which is kind of insane, right? Because I actually just have all the pieces I need to full blitz, but we uh, we got it. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to retreat, double energy switch, and just knock this fella out. Leave him with a no. No. Yes. There we go. Okay. I almost, almost really just Mahone that one up. There we go. So we almost misclicked there. That was that was about to be disastrous. I would have literally just, I would have quit. I would have just tipped my computer off here. Why am I not playing Giovanni's? Jesse, yeah. Welcome to the six month club there, Jesse Parker. Thank you so much for the continued support. Jesse Parker, everybody, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. You could play a copy of Giovanni's here. I just, I don't know. I think that you don't necessarily need it. You could just to toss the Dedenes into the discard pile. I think that that would be pretty sweet. He's definitely got an Oranguru in the deck. He's going for Oranguru here. No, no Oranguru. Oh, he's sick. Get wrecked. Okay. So no Oranguru, and we win. That's right. All right, two with Pika Pads. We'll do one more. Three's the magic number after all. One more with Pika Pads, and then we'll rock on with something else. What's up, Desert Rat? Yo. Yeah, I know, right? The, uh, the Pokemon are damaged. You're right, Sparksy. Yeah, I think that you don't necessarily need the Giovannis, uh, especially since, you know, sometimes Shrine and stuff like that's going to tick away at your 
take away it's your Pokemon's health anyway, and then you can't use it. I just think that it's a little bit too situational. I always ask myself, when I'm building the Picarom deck, I ask myself, do I want to see this card on like the first turn of the game? And if not, I usually won't play it. Field Blower is probably the only exception that I'm rocking with right now, just because you kind of need that in order to have a chance. I will show off the Blastoise list, uh, Swars, for sure. So just remind me when I'm between games. All right, looks like we're playing against a Nagquag deck. I don't think that this deck can beat Picarom. I'm just going to be straight up with it. I do not think that they got what it takes to beat my Picarom deck. But I don't know. Yeah, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to count your chickens before they hatch. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to start off with Ultra Balling away the Lightning and the E Power, just because I'm not sure how many, you know, like big Pokemon they got in this deck that are going to actually need a. Uh, you know, E power to KO, but we'll see. This is an interesting hand. All right. Hmm. You got it, sir. With a hand like this, that's why I was like, I was super careful. I didn't ultra ball away my other Cynthia. I was like, I need to make sure that I don't Cynthia into a dead hand. Beautiful, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. I misspoke. I said I didn't think that Nagquag could beat my Picarom deck, but, ah, well, look at us. We're eating our own words. Okay, so I am going to, I'm going to run a giveaway this morning. Who wants to do a giveaway? You guys want to do a giveaway? I got something fun. This is fun giveaway, all right? It's not super serious. It's fun, okay? Should be fun. We're going to talk about the giveaway since I just am about to get Shreked out here. Who wants to do a giveaway? You guys want to do a giveaway, a little fun, fun giveaway? Let's see. First, I got to close out my other yeah archive giveaway yeah 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 let's get rid of those and we're gonna create a new one all right so let's see here you guys know how the giveaways work we have triple luck in giveaways if you sub to the channel so sub to the channel big shout out to you for having triple luck in the giveaways all right starting one let's get it I am going to be giving away one Detective Pikachu Beach Ball. All right. So if you are interested in one blow-up Detective Pikachu Beach Ball shipped to your door, go ahead and type beach into the chat. Keyword is beach. I'm going to do that giveaway at about, eh, we'll say 11, 11, 10. 11? No, just 11. We'll do it at 11. All right. At 11, AM Eastern Standard Time, 27 minutes. Hey, you don't need a you don't need to live near a beach to enjoy a beach ball. Anybody can enjoy a beach ball. Alright, so they've got the Articuno, they got Volcanian. Oh, we are about to get destroyed. Type beach into the chat for your chance to win. A Detective Pikachu beach ball. I'll ship it to you. Should be fantastic. Alright, we've got plenty of energy switching options in the in the old uh, hand, but nothing going on. Otherwise, so we're just going to have to manually attach here every single turn until we get this thing rolling. And it looks like they're probably just going to poke into my Pikachu and Zekrom. It's kind of sad. Oh, get wrecked. We got nothing. But they also have nothing. They just have to hit, I guess, with their Articuno. That's cool. They can do that. But uh, it is a little bit sketchy because we got this guy looming in the background. So... I need to get a tag bolt whipped up, whipped up, and I need to get it, get it done quick, right? Now he's gonna move the energy to the quag. That's uh, that's unfortunate. All right, yeah, we're going to discard the Viridian for sure. Just go in, get ourselves something else. So I'm thinking that we just go here. Yup, for sure. And then I'm just going to energy switch, I think, yeah, to the uh, peek around. There we go. That's cool. Sure. Uh, and pass. That's what uh, that's what we got going on. So you can type beach into the chat for your chance to win the Detective Pikachu blow up beach ball. Very fun. You know, use it, uh, I don't know, in the bathtub, in your room, at a house party, phone party, at the beach. So many different uses for the beach ball. Or just put it on display. Very cool. Very cool looking, so 
See, they top decked a whooper. Look at that. They got a fighting type whooper as well. He's very cute. And we'll be drawing the winner at 11 a.m. 25 minutes here. And if you are sub to the channel, you have three times luck in the giveaways. Three times? Yeah, three times. Three times luck. Wow. Three times luck in the giveaway if you're sub to the channel. So, tough here because we just know, we know we're about to get wrecked by this Quagsire. I could Guzma it though. He's not water type, so I can Guzma that thing. So I need to top deck, I just need to top deck a Guzma is all I need. Please, please spare me deck. Can you please spare me here? Okay. This is, this is horrible. All right. I think I need to attack. We know we're about to get wrecked with this thing, and he's going to take three prizes. Oh, do I just be patient, or do I full blitz it? Ugh, I think I'm going to be patient. I mean, we're both top decking nothing out here, so I think I'm just going to attach and pass. I don't want to just... I don't want to just give him three prizes. Like, three prizes, that's insane. If I top deck an Ultra Ball, it's dead. If I top deck a Guzma, it's dead. If I top deck a Order Pad, it's 50% chance it's dead. Like, there's so many different things I could do to get myself out of here, but we're giving him so much time, so much time out here, all the time in the world, right? All the time in the world to get this thing going. It's insane. I'm going to be sick if he top decks a supporter before me. My deck has so many outs to these things. And we just ain't we ain't getting it right now. So, come on. Come on, deck. Honestly, there we go. Okay. So, let's see. We got ourselves a Viridian. I'm not going to need the multi-switch where we're going. Well, I guess I could have potentially, but it's cool. We are putting one there, and then I am just, yeah, we're in here. Okay. Everything must go. Everything must go, Sale. Let's go. And then we need to find ourselves a Guzma right now. Okay. So I can go get Lele. Lele for Guzma. Bring that guy up. And then we're going to Tag Bolt Town. That should be pretty good. We've got Ultra Ball. Cool, 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 cool. I think we saved the Lily. I just want to Ultra Ball away the Order Pad and the Lightning. And if there's a Lele, we're going to Lele for Guzma and play it. So let's do that for sure. And we'll, uh, yeah, 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 for sure. Later, nerd. We need to take that thing out. Pronto is a huge problemo out here. That thing really cramping my style. And then I think I'm just going, yeah, all aboard the full blitz train. We need to accelerate all three onto the active and just say, come on, cross our fingers, never punish land, let's go. And hope that he can't KO my Picaram this turn. I should be able to tag bolt. If I can tag bolt, I can really open up some cool plays here because I can knock out the Quagsire. He's only got one. I can knock out Naganadel. He's only got one. So that should be good. Aqua Patch, that's what I'm talking about. Still dead drawing. Fantastic. We both are just dead drawing out here. And now I'm about to wipe his field of energy. It's all about to be gone. He'll get one sauna blast off. And I'm about to take all of his energy off the board. Literally everything on the Quagsire, everything on the Volcanion. It's all going to go. And we are we're, we're in it. Good to go. We don't care about any of that spread damage. No worries at all. We'll gladly just attach. I think we're going in here probably with the Zara Aura just because, uh, you know, another Picaram could just get KO'd. So I'm going to do that. Order pad here. No energy switch. Sad. Then I can just Cynthia. That's fine. We're going to shuffle draw six, see if we get it. Energy switch is cool. Dude, field blower, get that thing out of here. No energy, sir. None. And then energy switch over to my Zara Aura, and it should just be Tag Bolt land. Here we go. Get it. Yup, cool with it. Goodbye, and also goodbye to the Quagsire. And that should be it. Absolutely 0% chance of my opponent being able to pull this one out. I think that uh, with the single Naganadal and the single Articuno with the zero card hand, yeah, that should just about do it. 
Though I do agree that NADQuag does have some cool new tools available to it in standard format. I think that ultimately the the list is just too inconsistent, right? I think that uh, having to set up all these different moving pieces, what I was talking about previously, oh, the whale. He's going to get the whale, right? Just uh, I think it's too inconsistent overall. So 3-0 with Pika Pads to get things started off here. Deck is still looking good despite it being kind of sketched sometimes. Every deck can be kind of sketched sometimes. But that's the thing about, like, Pikachu and Zekrom. Even if the deck dead draws a little bit, you can still win those games. Whereas with a deck like Nagquag, if you dead draw a little bit, you're probably just going to lose. So we'll get in there with... Uh, what I said I'd show off the Blastoise list a little bit. All right, I got a lot of questions about the Blastoise deck, so we'll show off the Blastoise deck just a bit here, show that off. This is what I was working with earlier. I think that a Max Potion is good in here. You probably don't need to play, and I guess the Japanese list I was looking at was not playing Dedenne GX, but Dedenne is really good. So you probably want to jam a Max Potion or two in here so that you can have a chance against non-GX decks and just... Uh, Throw all the energy back to your hand with Rocket Splash, Max Potion, and then keep swinging away. But that's what we got going on. So that is that. Let's get in there with Charizard. It's Charizard time. So we're going to see if we can beat some people with our milk-oriented Charizard deck. I'm not going to give in to the Squall, JW. No Squall this morning. I think I want to just play some decks. I want to see if I can get like a 10-game win streak. Let's see if we can do that playing just straight straight meta this morning and i just want to see if i could just show off like the best of the best lists that i got right now and really kind of do the channel some justice instead of just getting wrecked out here on ptcgo all right so we've got a great start i can just key away turn one it's pretty much exactly what you want so i'm gonna get myself probably bench rush ram charizard seems good and then we can get ourselves an energy attached to the active, Kiawe to the bench, and we'll be good to go. And then we're going to Ultra Ball for some other support card this next turn. Seems good. Yeah, yeah. So let's just do that. Get ourselves a Jirachi. Cool. Attach to the active, Kiawe to the bench, and here we go. That is it. Next turn. Who we got? Soul Karath. Thank you so much for the sub. Soul Karath, seven at tier one. Appreciate you. Welcome aboard. Gym time. Morning workouts with Tricky Jim. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Appreciate you. Soul Karath. And we just uh, are showing off why this deck is so completely busted here. We got five energy on board on the first turn of the game. No sweat. Absolutely easy. Flare Strike out here can get a turn two, 230 damage. And I've got Guzma to boot. So we can go Guzma, Ultra Ball for Dedenne GX, ham this deck out, target down whatever we want. It's definitely this thing. <laughs> We're going to knock that out. If my opponent does not pop that Tapu Koko this turn, that thing is going down for sure. And then we're going to see if if this is like a Zapdos deck, I want to see if we can actually utilize the Mill Tank in order to do some healing here. If we can, then dude, Charizard is like out there as one of the top decks for sure. So we've got Escape Rope. That's good, but I'm actually just looking to... I think I'm looking to just pop that Tapu Koko and make it so that they cannot Tapu Koko GX me. So we're going to take that thing out for surely. Ultra Ball. And go get a Dedenne GX. Draw six new cards. Cool with it. And let's go. Did a change? Just looking to manually attach, really. Fire energy would be good. Guzmud, so we are not going to be... This is so crazy. I mean, look how consistent this deck is. With the switches, the escape boards, like, we could get anything we want. And we're just going to Flare Strike. So, goodbye, Tapu Koko Prism Star. Easy mode. Then I just need to find my my Milkman. Nah, we took the Salazzle out. We're just rocking Jirachi and Milkman now. That seems to be the wave. That's the wave we're on for sure. 
And see, he's got another Pikachu and Zekrom, but that's a, that's what's insane about the Jirachi version of the deck is like, we're just going to pivot and we're going to go hunting for that, that Guzma. And if we can find Guzma, that thing's gone. That's it. And it's just so easy to just Guzma targets down with Flare Strike with the Jirachi engine combined with Dedene GX. Ah, they got their Thunder Mountain, so they're actually going to be wrecking me here. It's cool, though. We should be able to, I mean, I actually already have the response to this in my hand, so. Okay, well, I did. This is why I Pikachu Zekrom very good, obviously. Dude, this card, this card, this is the card. That is the card that makes this so good. We'll see. Tapu Thunder GX, that hurts. 300 damage, yikes. Three prizes to boot. Now, the thing is, if I can, I mean, I'm just going to take this dude out. I've already just a single energy attachment, and we've got it. And there we go. So he's a goner, and that means that my opponent's going to have no energy on board either, which is significant. I think that I don't want to poke a gear here because I don't actually want to. So we're going to just let loose is all we want to do and manually attach. Then I can welder to my active, which is cool. Just get a fourth energy on there, and then I have Guzma. So I am going to Welder that fourth energy. And I'm going to put that onto my active. Draw three more cards. That's cool. And then next turn, I can Guzma and potentially, like, Double Blaze GX. I actually don't even need to use my GX, so I'm not going to. We're just going to Flare Strike. So we knock him out. 200 and... 60 damage with the choice ban. He's got no energy in play. No Tapu Coco. Prism Star. Mac Attack. Thank you so much, Mac Attack, for the sub. Subbing for four months. Appreciate you supporting the channel, Mac Attack. Thank you so much. And uh, cheers to you for being a gym member. All right. We have got the Jirachi there. Nest Ball. Uh, they've got an energy attachment there. I have not been able to counter the Thunder Mountain yet, so all they need is just two energy attached to a Picaron. But as you can see, I've already got Guzma, so I'm just going to be able to chase that down. I've actually just got game in hand next turn. That's how quick this deck can just absolutely take a game by can you know take a take a game out. So that's why I I'm not exactly sure that that the Jirachi, I think you need to go for like turn one full blitzing. Like I don't think that you even have time in this deck to be doing any sort of Jirachi business. I think in that deck, you just want to ham it out and just play it full on just uh, consistency. But there we go. Flare Strike. All right. And that's game. So absolutely tanked. Pikachu and Zekrom does have kind of a hard time with Reshazard. That is for sure. Right. And, uh, yeah, this, this deck is just straight gas. So I'm, I'm loving this version of the list. Definitely check it out. That was very convincing there. Um, for sure into the Jirachi version of the deck. Definitely, definitely sticking with that. We are going to be giving away this Detective Pikachu Beach Ball in 11 minutes. All right, look at him. Look, so cute. Detective Pikachu, we got this at the pre-screening that I got to see on Tuesday. The movie was amazing, so definitely go see it. Go see it, right? Oh, Riley, we're on, we're full aboard the Jirachi train right now, 100%, dude. This is the best way to build the deck, 100%. I was wrong, I'm eating my words. Charizard with Jirachi, you up. It's the best way to build the deck. It's the best way to build the deck because you want to hide behind your Jirachis and just Kiawe. Right, you want to like turn one, get a Kiawe, Jirachi in the active. Also with the with the uh, the Mill Tank in the deck, and I think that the Mill Tank is insane. I'm like back on the Mill Tank board. I thought the Mill Tank was horrible at first, but now I'm like all aboard the Mill Tank train. I think the Mill Tank's amazing, and with the Mill Tank in deck, it goes hand in hand with the Jirachi since you can pivot between both of them. So let's start out here. We're gonna ultra ball looking for a a guy. Yeah. Okay. So I don't really want to ultra ball away in these things. I'm actually just gonna see what I get off Stellar Wish first. It makes like a marginal difference, so okay. We're gonna just well, sure enough. There's a restroom Charizard, but it doesn't really matter. 
What I need is like a Kiawe this turn. So I'm going to Ultra Ball for a Rush Ram Charizard. I could just throw the whole hand away. That seems irresponsible. I could just go get to Dene and just ship it, right? I actually kind of like that. So I don't think I actually need any of those cards. Let's see. If I get to Dene, then, well, let's see. Let's see. Can we get a Kiawe here? Yeah, all right, all right. That changes things entirely. So we got the Kiawe, so that means that I'm going to be going in and just getting a Charizard. So I can just get rid of probably the Choice Band and the Fire Energy. And we're just going to get ourselves a Charizard. And uh, that's it. So we've got turn two, Guzma Flare Strike. That's kind of all you really want in this deck, which is absolutely beautiful. Kiawe, boom. And definitely getting the Kiawe a lot more with this Jirachi version of the deck. It's very cool because we can Stellar Wish. That's really, really nice. And I also like about the Jirachi engine that we just can hide behind this Jirachi while we set up our, our big boys or girls or dragons, whatever. Set up our big Reshizard, right? and just pivot next turn. So I really do love that about the deck. And oh my gosh, are we playing against another one of these? Could they please stop? All right, Higurashi with your unknown hand deck. What is up with the unknown hand deck? Can people tell me about why, why is this a thing? Who made this? Who did this? This is the second one I've played against this morning. We bodied the first one. It looks like this guy is like, I've learned from Mahone bodying the first one, and we are going to be playing, I guess, uh, <laughs> we're going to be playing the Mew. Because I tag-bolted the other one into Oblivion. It was not even close. All right, let's Stellar Wish while we out here. Fiery Flint, Nest Ball, Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball's good. Fiery Flint's good. I think, low-key, I want to just Nest Ball. And I don't really need a second attacker is the thing. I don't. I actually don't need... I just need to be able to switch every single turn. So we're probably just going to get, uh, yeah, that's, that's probably fine. Let's see. No, I probably just want the Ultra Ball. All right, we'll get that. And then I think I actually am just going to switch. Seems cool. And then I got Guzma next turn. It's fine if I need to. I mean, I can pretty much just Flare Strike. I got like three guaranteed attacks here in a row, and then I do have Let Loose. So the game is going to get to that point where they almost have won, and then I'm going to Let Loose them and hope that that's enough to stop them. It's like kind of an unfortunate game to play. It's the second time we've had to play against one of these this morning, and uh, they are just racing to try and get as big of a hand as possible. I don't think that this deck is valid while Let Loose is in format. I'm just going to be straight up with it. I don't think the deck is good while Let Loose is in format. Let Loose should be in every single deck, except for maybe like Grand Bull. Okay, there's like a few decks that don't need to play it, but everything else should be playing a Let Loose in the deck, meaning that this deck is just going to get the the e-break just pulled on it. You know, as soon as he gets close, it's like, skrrr! All right, yep, let loose four cards, that's it, and they lose. So, yeah, that is it. Connor asking, is Cynthia useful in Rush's Art decks? I don't think so. You don't really need it. Never really want to do that. So, let's see, they got two Salazzles out. That's fine. We can uh, Guzma one of those if we want to. I don't necessarily think that we need to. But it is an option. I think I probably... See, Guzma Switch, I don't really want to do that, but then I also, yeah, let's uh, let's thin the deck. I'm going to get all these fire energies out, right? And then I really want to find, like, an escape board or something like that for my Jirachi. So, I mean, if we take down the Salazzle, we definitely decrease the speed at which they increase their hand size. But if we take out the Vulpix, I mean, they're beaconing as well. So there's a lot going on here. I think uh, Double Blaze GX probably okay, and we could just uh, we could just do that. That or I switch. I think switch Guzmos, but then I like really waste them. Ah, that's fine. All right, we're gonna do it. Cool. Stellar Wish. I want the escape board really bad. 
Nest Ball, that's cool. I can thin the deck a little bit more. Poke Gear, we could go get maybe like a car welder or something to draw some cards. That's probably fine. We'll just get Nest Ball. Get myself another Jirachi or something out of the deck. It's cool, sure. See, my Let Loose is in the deck, right? Yeah, he's in the deck. All right, cool. Swag, got it. Guzma, and we're going to take out a Slazzle. Brilliant. So now I've got a guaranteed, like, I don't know. I got a guaranteed three attacks here. I got that one, then I can double blaze, then I can flare strike again. So that'll take me down to two prizes. I just need to figure it out between now and then. Cutie Fly, what is you doing with Cutie Fly? Okay. I am like perfectly content with every card that they play from their hand because every card that they play from their hand, they actually, you know, they, they decrease their hand size. So that, uh, and only Fire Crystalline for two feels kind of bad. I don't know why they got Rainbow Energy in the deck. That's kind of interesting. But we kind of just sit here and watch them play their game. That's what the deck is. They don't ever plan on attacking, I don't think, though I do see that Rainbow Energy in there, which makes me wonder, what in the world are you doing with that Rainbow Energy? Do you plan on attacking with your Alolan Ninetales? I don't know. All right, so we got 30 cards left in the deck. That's fine. Sure, we'll Heat Factory. I'm into it. Let's see some more cards. Guzma, there we go. And the Milkman. We've got them all. I could Welder. I could Ultra Ball away, Mill Tank. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Just build up somebody else. Ultra Ball away, Mill Tank, and it'll Fire Energy. Get myself a second Charizard. Oh, no. What have I done? I have gotten rid of my Ultra Ball. Well, it's fine. We'll find another one. All right. I just wanted to draw more cards. Is that is that so bad? I don't think it's the worst. So I want to draw more cards so that I can, you know, just have more cards in my hand and have more options to switch later on. But that's fine. Okay. We'll just double blaze GX, take this knockout here, and we do need to find another Ultra Ball. Very important. So that is something that is kind of high on the agenda here. We still have not seen an escape board yet. That would be making me feel a lot better about this. What is this? Oh, I see what they have done now. They have a secret, super secret game plan against me. And they wanted to wait until I used my... Interesting. Okay. I did see the Gengar on Tuesday. I did, but I, I forgot. I forgot that they played the Gengar. All right? This is uh, something I forgot. So they get, like, within striking distance. Then they play Gengar. It's, uh, it's a whole thing. It's got 240 hit points. I don't have game on it. It's really tough. All right. Now, I guess they could Acerola, right? They have 10 damage on this Mew. I guess they will also be able to put 10 damage on the Gengar if they put the Rainbow on it. So they'll always be able to Acerola the Gengar if they want to. That's interesting. Dude, I'm about to get wrecked. All right. I think Reshiram and Charizard, ugh, we definitely play into the strategy a little bit worse. I needed to let loose possibly last turn. Brett Fett, I definitely, uh, I will probably pass this next turn, but I think that they might play Ace Arola in the deck, which would be really tough for me to deal with if they do play Ace Arola. So we got to see. I mean, they still need card, they still need to switch into their Kangar Mimikyu. Like, they don't have it yet. So they're just, they're just playing cards at this point. This, this shows me they ain't got it. They're about to get wrecked. They did not have it. All right. So, we are in the clear here. We should just be able to win this game. I only need a few cards here in order to piece it together. Escape Rope's very good. I could just Escape Rope Guzma. I don't have the Choice Band, though. <sighs> so, I think Escape Rope is good. I want to find... It's Escape Rope. I don't think it matters too much but I want to find a choice band if I find a choice band off of this 
then I'm good to go. Because then I just, oh my. Hmm. That's crazy. Okay. So now I think I welder and go for band, right? Because I can't hit this. Yeah, I think I welder and go for, I mean, I think I welder go for band. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I welder and go for it. All right, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to thin the deck one more. Yeah, let's see. I got only one band in the deck. Hey, Kujak. Thank you so much, Kujak, for that sub. Awesome stuff, man. Supporting the channel for four months. Appreciate you. All right, so not like a ton of options here. Yeah, sure. We'll we'll get that. Gonna fire crystal. And then we're weldering for it. And throwing that energy onto the bench, dude. Hey, get wrecked. That's it. All right, that should be game there. I think there's probably a 0% chance. Oh, that just is game. Yeah, they scoop it up. Got it. All right. Thank goodness we didn't lose to the Salazzle deck. That 2-0 uh, against Salazzle. Get punted. All right. Didn't even need let loose. Didn't even need it. We out here with Reshazard. Five win streak. Three wins with Pika Pads. And two wins so far with Reshazard. Dude, the dancing Pikachu is just so cute. Honestly, bless all the subs today who have uh, graced us with the dancing Pikachu. Love that thing. It's amazing. So thank you so much. All right, we need to find a Nest Ball or an Ultra Ball off this Jirachi so I can get a turn one Kiawe. That would be insane. -o. And, uh, yeah, it was weird. Yeah, it was weird with the promotion of the, the Gengar Mimikyu. If he had Lace Rolla in his hand, then he would have just been able to tank a hit. He didn't see that I had the Choice Ban in play. So that was, uh, it was interesting. Interesting promotion. I think maybe he thought that I just didn't have it, right? So we get to play against a Malamar deck. It should be interesting. I don't think that... Reshazard actually has too good of a Malamar matchup. What makes Pikaram's Malamar matchup so good is the ability to tag bolt multiple targets. And with Reshazard, we are just very straightforward attacking into things like Giratina. So our play to get around the Giratina is to try and get out our Mil Tank and rely on his milky powers to heal us. That is what we're trying to do here. And I could see it. I mean, I could see it working. I think uh, we got a possibility of it working here. What I would hate to do is do a turn one welder on the Jirachi. So we're really hoping that we get a ball search card off of the Stellar Wish here. That would be phenomenal. Oh, looks like we're getting let loose. All right. All right, Jirachi, you did your best. Let's go. Stay strong, Jirachi. Four new cards. These four new cards definitely going to be better than those. I ain't even scared. There we go. We got Stellar Wish. That's cool. We can get a, another Fire Energy out of our deck with Viridian. I'm into it. So that is definitely looking good. Yeah, Riley, I definitely do not like the turn one let loose either because... Charizard is a deck that just gets this huge hand, and then you want to disrupt that later. Not right off rip. So I could thin the deck with Viridian. That's probably fine. There's no real reason not to, especially with the top deck of the fire. So we're we're cool with that. And then we're going to Stellar Wish. Really don't. Come on. Come on. Okay. Hmm. I am not going to welder to this thing. That just seems so bad. Okay. Poke gear, sure. Huh. We have to. <laughs> we just have to. All right. I'm going to welder. Yup. Over here. That's better. Okay. Next turn, we're going to do some things. All right. We'll put this down. We'll put an energy on it. And then, uh, yeah. Here you go. All right. That's all we got. 
major whiff there. But it's cool. We'll get there next turn. Yup, not exactly the way you want it to work. Hey, it's 11 o'clock. All right, we're doing the drawing for the beach ball. I forgot. All right, let's do it. Type beach into the chat for your chance to win. I will be drawing this winner in 60 seconds. All right, 60 seconds. Three times the luck for... Three times the luck for, uh, you know, for, for the subs. Thank you, subs. Three times luck for subs. Going to be sending this beach ball your way if you win. All right. And mods can win, too. That's fine. Mods can win. Bless the mods. Thank you to the mods for supporting the channel. If you happen to win, then you can get this very own Pikachu, Detective Pikachu beach ball of your own. All right. Wow, we've got over 100 entries now. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. And uh, good luck to you. All right, here we go. Drum roll, please. Brrr, ah. I'm going to draw the entrance. All right, let's go. We got Corporal Crow. You are the winner of the Detective Pikachu Beach Ball. Corporal Crow, if you are in the chat, reveal yourself. You can go ahead and DM me or Natalie, Natakazam, all right, for your... Uh, for your beach ball. All right, get that shipped out to you. So thank you so much, Corporal Crow, for following the channel and uh, supporting us with the viewership. Appreciate it. All right, there you go. Corporal Crow, congrats. Excellent stuff. We'll be doing more giveaways. I could do another one tomorrow. But uh, thank you guys all for checking out the channel, joining us on this Thursday morning. Congrats to Corporal Crow for that uh, awesome, most awesome win. All right, so I think here... We just have to poke a gear into, yeah, we just have to poke a gear into a welder. If we don't, it's just all bad. So, huh. It's Viridian first. Tricky to walk around. Let's go, Frau Pal. Thank you so much for the sub. Second month supporting us. Thank you so much, Frau Pal, for your support, my dude. Excellent stuff. All right, we got, oh, oh, oh man. Dude, we are out here getting wrecked. Absolutely demolished. All right, so, oof. Okay, yeah, sure. We're gonna Guzma this thing up. Attach. Stellar Wish. We got Welder and Escape Rope. Okay, we'll get a Welder. It's fine. All right, the turn three Charizard. All right, how about that? How about that, guys? The turn three. Bet you didn't see that coming. The turn three Zard. Yup, pretty good. It's pretty busted. Okay. So maybe he ain't got a switch. <laughs> that would be... Ah, uh, that would be great. But I'm thinking that... Yeah... This is going to be the end of the the win streak right here. That's for sure. He's a... T oh? Ah, he's got the board, man. No, not the board. Okay. We're going to need to draw some hot fire here for the next little while. No, I don't think this guy actually does protect against. I don't know why I benched him. I probably should not have. It does not. I thought for a second that it would protect against Sky Scorching Light, but I don't think that it does. Nope. Sky Scorching Light uh, does six damage counters. This guy places damage counters. Yup, there's actually no no reason to bench that thing. It's cool. Just a little bit tilted. So, that's uh, that's what we got going on. Mew just wanted to join the party, all right? He's just down here because he's feeling left out. So, we're like, all right, sure. Yeah, we'll put the Mew down. Okay, it's game time, fellas. Let's get it. We've got a Rush Ram Charizard. There's the escape board we wish we had turns ago. I will definitely just uh, get that thing out of here. And we can welder to this Reshizard. Both fire energies. Fantastic. Let's go. All right, turn three. Look at that. Busted. And uh, this isn't quite doing it for me, Hand. I think next turn. Yeah, next turn we're going to... We're going to probably detene next turn, but not this turn. We're going to Flare Strike this turn. And just do that. And then we need to probably switch into Mill Tank. Yup. And then detene GX. And hope that we can do some things. 
The unfortunate thing about this is I suspect, oh yeah, there is most definitely a Ultra Necrozma hiding in that deck. They have got three Malamars in play. So, thinking that it's only about T minus, uh, you know, a couple turns until we just get absolutely mixed out here with our Reshiram and Charizard. That is, uh, that is no bueno for sure. Yup. Yep, definitely should not have benched that thing. It's cool. It's cool. You know, he's fine. He's just uh, he out here just Jay chilling. Look at him. Look at him. Just looking nice. All right. This thing's coming back out. Distortion Door. All right. And it's going to Shadow Impact for 130. It's cool. We're about to let Miltank do her thing. All right. Moo Moo Malt's going to heal up. My Reshiram Charizard. We're about to switch to Dene. Get it popping. We're gonna draw into Welder, heal 180 damage from our Charizard, and crank that. That's what we're about to do, boom. Oh, he's gonna Guzma. Oh, I see what he's done. We most definitely should not have ever benched that thing. It's cool though. We're gonna let loose him out of it. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna get it this turn. So, that is, uh, that is the situation. Cool. The Mew's gonna get knocked out. He's got a, why the metal energy on your dude there? Interesting. With three, what, three times, actually, it's interesting, the, with three psychic energy, the Ultra Necrozma actually does not knock us out, right? Because it does eight times, yeah, eight times three is 24, 25 is all it does. Ah, we can weather that. We're going to be cool. So we do need to tread carefully at this point. I think we go, huh. Mill tank. We can Viridian. Oh, I didn't take any damage. Yeah, we, de we definitely don't have to do this yet. We just attack. And I could let loose, which is cool. One, two. Mm, we don't want to bench the third thing. We could put the escape board on the mill tank, and then I could just let loose this dude, but I think it's probably not time to let loose yet. So let's just, uh, let's just flare strike. Okay. And then I'll, I'll pop off next turn. We're going to... I can count. I know. I know. I'm so so good at counting. So good at counting numbers, guys. So next turn, we're going to... Oh, here he is. He needs the beast it. Ah, well. All right. Well played. You got me. The turn three... Tell me the turn three Charizard was not enough for you. <laughs> we, we got... Yeah, we're just getting demolished. All right. So I should have let loose him that turn. But that... Uh, yeah, no. It's cool. The Milky Zard deck was not doing it for us. All right. Let's play Zapdos. See how that does. I think Zapdos could be okay. We played a couple games with Charizard there. Did I show off the list? People interested in what the Charizard deck looks like. I know that that was kind of like a an underwhelming game, but it hasn't been performing like that for us. I mean, you saw the other games we were just popping off. I think that the deck is very good. We, you know, just set up very consistently with Kiawe, Welders, setting up behind Jirachi is very good. It allows you to get those Guzmas also. So lots of... Lots of options there. I think this is pretty much where you want to be for the list right now. This is kind of where the trends are heading with the Charizard deck. The Mill Tank is like a valid answer to a lot of these non-GX decks. Being able to Welder and heal 180 damage from your Reshazard with all these Switch cards in deck. The Switch cards also work brilliantly with the uh, Jirachis as well. So very cool. They're definitely, uh, definitely legit. All right, let's play some Zapdos and just see how we do. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Peter, not a fan of the energies. Yeah, that's my hope is that my opponents just get triggered by all my different energies and that they just forget how to play. Let's see. Who did I say won, uh, won the giveaway? We said uh, it was Corporal Crow. I got to write your name down, Corporal Crow, so I know to send it to you. So I'm going to go ahead and jot you down. Tails never fails. All right. We need three more. Oh, you need three more Jirachis. I was like, bro, I cannot put three more Jirachis in my deck. We got Corporal Crow. Sure enough, we start our, like, what, one of Erica's? Dude, that card is booty. All right. It's fine. Not exactly what we want, but we'll take it. Jirachi start. Definitely have options here. And yes, Corporal Crow, we do bulk trade-ins for sure. At Full Grip Games, you can trade in 3,000 bulk for a booster box. 
you can check out the website at fullgripgames.com on our buy list section. And our buy list is where you can find those. So this is highly unfortunate, a Venusaur deck that happens to play an Absol. What are the odds? That is not what we want. And from all my playtesting so far, honestly, a Venusaur in a day and age with Charizard? What are we doing? Yikes. All right. Not what I wanted to see, but it's fine. I think, honestly, uh, the more I think about it, the more I dive in and play this format, the best two decks just seem to be Pico Ram and Charizard. Uh, I really feel that way. I think that Pico Ram is the most vers the more versatile of the two, and Charizard's the heavy hitter, the heavier hitter of the two. And the Zapdos decks seem to really get walled out by stall decks or kind of beefier decks like this that Pico Ram and Charizard could both deal with if they're teched appropriately. So I think that's kind of my synopsis of the meta, if anybody's interested. All right, there we go. So we're going to do that first and just go ahead and Stellar Wish, see if we can't find a real supporter out here. Lily will do Mindu it. Nest Ball would be kind of like a, oh, I can just Erica's to be honest. I don't, I, I can just Erica's. We're cool using Erica's. Hey, Erica for five? Sure. So we're going to just get ourselves a Zapdos here. Yeah, we're going to get that. And then we'll do the thing, get ourselves Zapdog, sure. And we're going in. We got this and can just Erica's for a bunch. It's very interesting that they decided to play the Venusaur deck despite Aether being broken right now. So that, I think, is pretty fascinating. Sure. And then we just got... Yes, yeah, we're just going to knock that fella out. Yeah, switching to Zapdos, and we got it. I'm going to save my shrine because I guess who knows what kind of stadium they're playing. I don't think that they're going to be playing uh, Aether, considering that it's broken. So that is uh, that is to be determined. We'll see. Crushing hammers. Oh, boy. That is uh, kind of tough. And at this point, they do have just a bunch of shamans there on the bench. I can knock those out and then only need to take my one knockout with Tapu Koko GX and we should be good to go for this game. Don't let me forget about that Absol. I guarantee you I'm going to try to forget about that Absol. Don't let me do it, all right? Just don't. Just don't let me do it. Don't let me forget about the Absol. I know I'm going to try. Okay. We ain't got nothing out here, so I'm just going to get Probably another Zapdos. And we're just going to start attaching energy kind of all over the place. And then I am going to play the Shrine because, you know, just because. We're actually going to poke this thing too. I'm confused. All right. So we don't actually. No, no, no. We don't We don't play it. All right. We, we just wait. Because I'm confused. Because if I hit myself, then I just feel so silly. So we can't actually do that. I could, yeah, yeah, no, we can't tap a cocoa. All right, go ahead. That's it. We're going to take our time out here. No need to waste any of these resources. We need to just be methodical about this. My opponent, this game is just, you know, it, it's easy enough. I didn't really need to play this shrine. I don't know why I did that, but he's going to be able to heal that damage off with his shamans. I guess it is minus 10. Yikes. There goes my hand. It is minus 10 on the damage I need to do because, or 20, I guess. It is, it's a plus 20 because I get to, don't do this. I get to keep that shrine for two ticks before he gets to heal it. So that's kind of cool. Now he's got the Absol. All right, thanks for the reminder. I cannot retreat for free with this Jirachi. So we're going to go and promote. I can Stellar Wish. We'll see what we get. All right. Not necessarily going to Ultra Ball yet. Cynthia is pretty good. Guzma is pretty good as well. The Guzma could just get me something. I think Guzma Let Loose just feels really good right now. Yeah, I'm kind of into that. Let's just do that. It's cool. And then I think I'm going to Ultra Ball away the Choice Band and the Lightning and get myself a... Probably the Tapu Koko Prism Star. I guess if he, like... Guzma's this thing. I'm going to be kind of sick, so I kind of can't let him do that. And then let's Guzma, Shaman, need to do that. 
skateboard, let loose. And yeah, that's cool. We got rescue stretcher, Lily, that's fine. I can just honestly, I think I do this now, just get this back and then pop the Tapu Coco immediately because I kind of lose if I kind of lose if he's able to knock out the Tapu Coco, if that makes sense, because then I'm probably never able to get the Tapu Coco GX play going. So that's, uh, that's what we got going on. I didn't have guaranteed knockout on the Absol. So yeah, I ended up let loosing into an Electro Power, but I didn't know that I was going to. So I couldn't really confidently say that that was going to work out. So they're going to bring up my dude here. That's kind of sad. And then it's looking like I'm just going to have to swing in with a Zapdos. We definitely want to find a Lightning Energy here. And I'm glad that I did pop the Tapu Koko because he probably would have been target number one had, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, know, you know the deal. All right. So, yikes. Yeah. Stellar Wish. We got... Choice Band and a Skateboard. I think we just go with Choice Band. Hit him for you know, some damage. It's fine, but I don't want to use... We need to switch here. I'll use one. It just... Because I need to draw cards. I can't afford to not draw cards here. So we've got that. The skateboard is fine. I need to attach an energy for sure. That's true. So we need to go there. The Thunder Mountain's really good, so I'm going to try and keep that also. And then next turn, we're trying to go in for a big Coco GX attack. So I'm just going to attach this, like, wherever. It doesn't matter. And then I think, oh, the, yeah, the skateboard actually goes really good on Zeb Strika because he can, like, retreat for free. So that's kind of interesting because he doesn't get stopped by Absol. So we'll uh, we'll do that. All right. And deal a significant amount of damage. We still have our two energy, which is good. That's all I need. So I'm just going to be looking for another Ultra Ball here off of this Stellar Wish and Lily so that I can go and get myself the Tapu Koko GX to knock this dude out. Four energy in play, that's base 200. I guess he might not ever give me the, he might not give me the energy that I need though. Like, look, he's just taking out my Jirachis. That's like really tough for me to deal with. So no Jirachi this turn. Oh, but he's not healing. What? Oh, now I win. Okay, I'll take that for sure. All right. Like, we should just be cool here. I mean, it, what, three prizes, dude? It's game over. Why didn't you heal? I don't I don't get it. All right. I mean, I need to draw as many cards as I can. I'm going to be absolutely sick if I miss this. So we need to just draw, 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 draw. Come on. Lily for five. And that's game. That is it. So we can just go in and deal uh, our knockout. Yeah, we're going to take that and that. And that is GG's. So, yeah. <laughs> I know. He definitely should have uh, should have healed there. That was like, that was way too risky. We really got away with it there with the, with the, the Zapdos deck. That, uh, that did not feel like I should have won, but hey, we'll take it. All right, back on the board, so. We're like uh, six and one right now. So that's pretty good on the day so far. <laughs> this match is big yikes all around. Oh, that's fine. I didn't feel like I did anything silly, though. I think it was just him. Yeah, that was uh, that was that deck. I'm not sure that that deck should be seeing much play now with the, the whole Aether being banned thing. Temporarily, temporarily being banned. It's just not working appropriately on PTCGO. All right, here we go. Jirachi start, that's excellent. We're going second, so I'm not going to bench the Blitzel yet. Energy Spinner is kind of cool in here. I'm not sure that it's needed, but it's definitely better than Energy Lotto. If another one, you've got to be kidding me, right? Like, what is going on? 
Pearl T. Okay, we'll see what you got here. Back-to-back -back Venusaur decks. Isn't there enough Charizards out here to make all these Venusaur decks go away? Like, thought I'd seen enough of these and that I shouldn't have to. Should, right when I pivot to Zapdos, like, yeah, sure, we're playing against all of the Venusaur decks. I know, right? Why can't I just get the free win with Reshazard? Please. Please, the free win would be so nice. But it's all good. So they got Double Shame and Start. See what they got going on. We've got definitely a clogged up, weird looking Zapdos hand, if I've ever seen one. So we're going to be hoping for a Nest Ball or an Ultra Ball off of the Stellar Wish. And yes, Sorry for any confusion. Aether Paradise is not banned from competitive play. It's not banned from tournaments. It is just not available on PTCGO right now because it has a bug. So it has a bug. That is all. This hand is much better. So thank you for your let loose, Miss Pearl T. All right. We're going to be, I think it's correct, to Lily first. And sure enough, no nest ball. All right. There's one. Take it. And then we're going to be able to go in and get ourselves a quick zap dose here. That's what I'm saying, man. I think this version of the deck is just so much more consistent. I really love really love this version of the deck. Just straightforward zap dose. It actually works. It does what I want it to do far more often than I felt like the Zap Beast deck was doing. I just like don't like the way the Zap Beast deck works. I think that, honestly, I'm not sure that it gives you too much of anything, like too much of a bonus. I think Zorark decks are not seeing as much play anymore. And I think, you know, in the, okay, so the Sledgehammer really helped against that. Uh, I think that Reshazard decks, I mean, yeah, you could use Nihilego, I guess, against a... Um, a Charizard if for some reason you didn't Tapu Koko GX them. But ultimately, I don't think that it's worth it. All right, so we're going to switch into our Jirachi here. Um, just definitely attaching to somebody else. Um, probably going to end up... I don't actually need anything from there. So I was thinking I was going to thin my deck. I'm looking for a Nest Ball. I really want to attach a Lightning. We don't have it don't actually need any of this stuff. So I'm just going to end up cynthia here, I think. And I'll attach to like the zebra. It's probably a fine place to put that. Don't need to bench my other one. Let's just Cynthia. Go from there. And we got Let Loose Shrine. Okay, it's all pretty good. And Tapu Coco. So we'll just retreat and take this knockout with our Shaman. And go from there. Don't want to bench the Tapu Koko Prism Star. Don't want to sprint. The Shrine, I mean, they don't even play stadiums right now, so I don't think that the Shrine will matter. I mean, they can't be playing stadiums, right? Like, what would they be playing? Aether's not working. Sure. All right, we'll see. Maybe our greed will pay off. So. I think uh, the Zapdos decks are just, they're quick. They're nimble, right? I think that they're very aggressive, so that's what makes them so fun to play. <laughs> I see, uh, uh, what is that, V Legend asking if he's the only one who doesn't like to play Zapdos decks. They're playing Power Plant. Okay, that's their stadium of choice. Interesting. But yes, lots of people do like Zapdos decks. I think they're just quick, nimble, and consistent. Um, and there's a lot to like about that. They're play, they play as a non-GX deck, which is really, really good as well, considering that you don't have to give up multiple prizes, and they just do what they set out to do almost every single game, which is uh, very good. So let's see here. With three energy attached, he could be going on to GX next turn if I hit into him. Let's just go into our Jirachi get another hit off with this dude, and then I'll gladly Stellar Wish, get Ultra Ball, that's cool. Ultra Ball just for another attacker. And kind of just keep putting the pressure on, that's, that's what I'm looking at. We can Ultra Ball away. I got Rescue Stretchers in case I want to get that Let Loose back. 
Just go get myself another Zapdos. Don't need to bench the dude yet. We're just kind of grinding through this hand. Lily for four. We got Shrine back. That's good. So we'll bop that. Probably should have saved that for the turn that I want to tap with Coco. It's cool though, because I only got like, one more stadium left, but it's fine. It's fine. Fine, fine, fine. No need to tap a Coco yet. We ain't doing it, so I'll just retreat into probably the damage zap though, so that's fine. I don't really think it makes too much of a difference. I want Thunder Salt. And yeah, Rocket at 310 hit points is really tough for me to handle. Viridian, that's fine. So long as it's not another power plant, I don't really care. They should GX and heal here, which is good because I have to get that out of the way. They can't really afford to bench another. Um, wow, okay. They're not going to heal. Amazing. So then I can just knock this dude out, which is excellent. And then maybe I could GX that thing. That would be phenomenal. So we got 170 damage to do. I got to figure out how to do that relatively quickly, which should be okay. I can get a backup Zapdos here, Cynthia. I don't want to waste any E powers, though, until I kind of have to, but it's looking like it's getting to be about that time. They got one, two, three, four, five. So I can deal 250 damage. It's, I mean, I have to deal not 170. I have to deal like 210. Still a lot. So he's feeling confident. He thinks he's got it. All right. 210. I don't think that I actually am going to hit 210 here. So that's kind of tough. I think I probably just force him to GX because I want to save all my E powers. So let's just see where we're at. We can get ourselves another Zapdos. Attach. I'm not going for not. 210 is like way too much damage to do. So we're just going to Cynthia. 220? Is it 220? It's not 170. Yeah, that's for sure. I figured that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely figured that out. It's cool. We got we to gotta poke him again. I'm not going for the GX attack because I want to GX like a fresh one. So I'm going to wait for him to put even more energy in play because he's kind of being greedy here. So we're going to do that. Let's get ourselves, I guess, a choice ban would help with a potential GX attack coming down the line here. I've got everything I need to pop off and pull off a big GX attack in this hand, so we're just going to kinda well, continue chugging along here. Thunder's Assault. And then if he does heal this thing, I'm going to have to deal like 300 damage, but in order for him to heal this thing, he's gotta put another energy in play which means that he's going to be at six energy, which means that I'm only going to need one damage buff to KO this thing, and then they will have used their GX attack, which means that I could start working on this one. Um, so that's kind, of the, that's kind of the thought here. We force them to use their GX attack, and then we try to, like, two-hit KO this one. But I cannot, I absolutely cannot use any of my... E powers, you know, I cannot waste any of my E powers. So, like, we, we see, obviously, he's going to heal here. And I wasn't going to knock this dude out this last turn. It would have been a waste to do so. So, this is totally fine. It's where we want to be. He's healing. He's got five energy. We only need one damage buff to KO him with the Tapu Koko GX. So, that's kind of where we're at. All right. Let's go get ourselves an energy. It's fine. Get that out of the deck. Make sure the Coco's in there. It is. So we're all four E powers. So that's kind of cool. We can just go in and Ultra Ball for it. I guess I will. Yeah, we could Ultra Ball for it. I don't really feel like I need that, Erica's. So we'll get rid of those. Get ourselves the Tap of Coco GX. It's your time. Now it's your time, Tap of Coco. Very good. Stellar Wish. Get an E power. It's probably cool. We start stocking up on those, and then uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's go here. We're going to do the thing. Yeah, yeah. Take all the energy to yourself, Tapu Koko. And then he's got what? So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 300 and something. All right. 
There we go. That should do it. Right? Right. Let loose. Do we also let loose? We could let loose. I'll let loose later. All right, we're going to tap with Thunder GX. There we go. Not going to let loose yet. I want to, I think I want to hit him and then let loose. That's the thought. Because I don't actually care about his healing cards until after he, you know, I don't care about his healing cards until like right now, right? So I don't want to let loose him now because that gives him another turn to get a hold of his healing cards. So what I want to do is just like smack him for 200 damage or 160 damage and then and then let loose him. So that's what we're going to do here. But we're going to see if we can get it. Uh, I really like this version of the list, though. Very consistent, very straightforward. Doesn't really leave a lot to be desired, which I'm definitely into. All right, so we could probably pop our Tapu Koko at this point. Yeah, make it so that we can attack. That's good. I like that. So, hmm. Yeah. Let's do that. Tapu Koko, Prism Star, Dance of the Ancients. I guess I could have not done that. It's cool. I mean, I could have maybe used the Viridian instead to go get myself an energy. But it's all good. We're going to retreat into Zapdos here. And then Viridian and get ourselves another energy. I think I just attached that to my Tapu Koko GX, to be honest. And then, yeah, put another escape board down. This hand is not great, so I am just going to let loose it and see where we go. No point in using the e-power yet. I don't, well, there is a point. It's fine. I think we can use one. I think we're just going to go for it here. So, like, we need a two-hit KO for sure. And I don't think that it really disrupts us too much from getting that. Um, I think playing the stadium down is probably fine. Switch and escape rope, probably okay. And just like burn a little bit. I think I like that. So let's, uh, I've retreated. So I'd have to switch escape rope, do both. I don't think it actually matters. I'll do that next turn. All right. The Thunder Salt. Uh, I do actually want to play that though. Yep. Thunder Salt. Here we go. Sick. So we're dealing 110. I'm going to save the switch and escape rope next turn in case he doesn't knock me out because it is possible that he doesn't knock me out, right? If he doesn't find the extra grass energy he needs to solar beam. And then we're just going to go in and switch into our Jirachi attempt to. So, so long as he doesn't hit like double, uh, if he hits like double. Mixed herb here, that would be insane. He doesn't have it. So, just field blowers off those escape boards. And we should be. Oh, no way, dude. No way. Oh, what a sack. What a sack. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. Sure. So, we've got this, and we have to go hit him again. All right, we got Nest Ball. Nest Ball is not getting us what we need, so we will gladly just Stellar Wish, get Rescue Stretcher. Rescue Stretcher, put a Pokemon from our discard pile in our hand. Sure, we're just going to go get Zapdos, swing again. And... Interesting. Okay. So I could switch into... There's no way he hits it again, right? Like, come on. I mean, that would just be atrocious. I think we just do it. Yeah, I want to see a different hand. So I think we just switch into this Jirachi. Stellar Wish. Choice Band. Sure. I'm going to put the Choice Band back on my Tapu Koko, and then I think I'm sprinting. And we're just going to escape rope, throw that thing up. That, and let's sprint. 
sure. C4 new cards. Volkner's good. Double E power. That doesn't... I wouldn't have knocked him out. 250. There's no way. Three. Would I? Four damage buffs? I would have knocked him. No, I wouldn't have. I would have been short. All right. So, for Volkner. Got the choice ban of lightning. And we'll just uh, choice band it up. And then I'm just going to wait. See what we got next turn. And hopefully it doesn't do it again. That would be most excellent. Please don't double mixed herb again. I don't even care if you heal him like a bunch. Just so long as we don't get the double herb treatment. That would just be great. With only one prize remaining, they cannot afford to put down a... I mean, Acerola's here? That would be insane, right? I cannot... He cannot afford to put down a Shaman, though. And he started power... I mean, he put down another Venusaur, but put the energy here. So he has to, like, rip, like, insane to be able to win this game. I don't think that he will. I think he's going to be fine. I think we just got it here with our Tapu Koko. Next up, I saved the E-Powers, obviously, because you never know. You want the option to throw down with two. I want, I could deal 250 damage next turn with this Tapu Koko. That's like the potential that we got. So it should be really strong and enough to take down just about any. Yeah, yeah, we got it. He's not even going to attack. Wow, we top deck the switch. So that's cool. We've got it here. The Tapu Koko GX, double E power, and that should just be game. GG, hello, yes. Hello there. Well played, very good. And then, uh, yeah, we, we got it. Sick. Sky High Claws should get us there, right? I didn't mess up my math. I'm not going to lie, I didn't add it up, but it felt like enough. War! Thank you so much. <clears throat> War says, absolutely love the huge amount of bananas content you provide for us. You're the chillest, and I'm super glad to be able to support the community and you. Thank you so much, War. Second month on board. Thank you so much for your sub. My dude, much appreciated. All right, Zapdos, we played against two Venusaur decks with Zapdos. That felt pretty chill, all right? And uh, that kind of that kind of seems where we got. Got to play... Pika pads one more time here. Get in there with Pikachu and Zekrom. Keep this train rolling. Looks like we're playing against, I don't know. It's got lightning, dark, and fighting type in it. So I truthfully have no idea. But I'm excited to see what's in store. It looks like it could be a Zapdos deck or some sort of lightning deck. Which would be... Interesting to play against, to say the least. So <clears throat> let's get it rocking. See what my opponent has in store for us. So these are my three favorite decks. Wanted to showcase my three favorite decks in standard format right now. It is Pikachu Zekrom, it is Charizard, and it is Zapdos. So those are my three favorite decks. What do you guys think? Is there any other deck that you think cracks into those? Top three. Those are my top three decks for standard format right now. Are there any decks that you guys think cracks into that top three? Let me know in the chat. Any decks that you think can compete with those three for the top three decks? Attach Choice Band, Zapdos, Cynthia, turn one. And yeah, not super explosive. It's all good though. Nest Ball, get ourselves a Zara Aura, and we're going to be chilling. Okay. I could retreat into Zapdos. No real point in doing that. And I guess there is a point, right? I could retreat into Zapdos. And then next turn we might have a... Is there a slightly better op? No. Is there better odds of getting a... No, no, we're not going to retreat into Zapdos. All right. Yeah, the Mew is really tough for Pikachu Zekrom, I agree. It is just still such a good deck, though. So I was thinking about trying different things in order to deal with the Mew. I mean, really, the only you could play Muck, right? The Muck doesn't work. I, I thought about it. Doesn't work. So 
Lily says Zapdos seems underpowered. That's fair. Dankus loves Nag Quag. All right. Muck Muck. I don't think about that. Captain Kronk, I do love Whimsicott, but I was just getting straight Shreked by, uh, by Charizard with Whimsicott last night. Did you know that Charizard GX's GX attack actually goes through Whimsicott? Hey, figured that out the hard way. So, yeah, Charizard's GX attack ignores all effects on the defending Pokemon. That means that they can just GX your big Whimsicott, which is insane, right? That really hurts. So, six energy, or it doesn't even have to be six energy. I'm pretty sure, what, three energy, right? I know. I didn't know that, Riley. I thought that, uh, I don't know what I thought. I guess I just, I might have known it, but I just didn't think about it until it happened to me. And then it happened to me, and then I was sad, right? But yes, the uh, the Mew is really tough for Pikachu and Zekrom to deal with. It doesn't have the same damage output that Reshazard has. Like, obviously, Reshazard is not able to get a... Oh, my gosh, what just happened? They're getting a turn one? No way, dude, please. I knew I should have... Chat, I knew I should have retreated. Turn one. Yikes. Okay. Multiple judge in this list. What is this list? What am I looking at? Turn one full blitz. Okay, guys. All righty then. That's fine. Sure. Why not? You know? Why not? Let's see. Are they going all active or are they going to go three onto the zero aura? Turn one Volkner into full blitz, please. How did that even happen? What? All right, <clears throat> let's uh, let's go, chat. It's it's for sure. It, it's Zapdos Town. All right, I'm not. I don't have a lot of faith here, so it's fine. It's Zapdos Town for sure. All right, you go get him, Zapdos. Do your thing, dog. Do your thing. There we go. And Lily. <clears throat> I don't actually want to give him the Viridian, but kind of low key have to. Because I need uh, I need an energy attachment for sure. So we're going to get that energy attachment, discard, multi-switch. It's fine. And then I can't really afford to put energy anywhere else right now. So we're just going to ship it like this. That's just what we got. And then I put the energy on the Zero Aura. Next turn, all right? Next turn, we're going for it. Next turn, we're going to go for a full blitz. For now, we kind of have to bide our time, though. Hope they don't goose my big boy. Over. Oh, well, yeah. Goodbye, big boy. There's three prizes right there. Okay. Uh, that's fine. It's fine. Didn't need it. All right. So what do we do? How can we do this? We have a lot of... I mean, okay, so fortunately for us, our energy has not been ruined yet, which is good. We're taking three prizes. I would like to knock out that Picaram over there. I could go 160. We'll do it. I could just knock out that Picaram. I could go Ultra Ball for Guzma, right? Maybe. Do I have any energy down yet? How much do I need to do? 130? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to promote this. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what we can do. Ultra Ball away. Cynthia. I'm just, I'm going all in. That's for sure. We're going to go all in with these. I think. If we Ultra Ball away, Lily and Cynthia, I can. That or we're just going to attack with Zapdos and like Tag Bolt. I should have. I should have energy. I should have done the energy first, and then gotten an energy into the discard pile with this. So I like I jumped the gun here. It's unfortunate that I get rid of energy switch and Lily and just go for Cynthia. Hmm. Seems fine. Could go very poorly. Yeah. Let's let's just go. It's fine. We're gonna get to Dene. 
I could Coco GX this thing. No, that seems horrible. Not doing it. All right. So let's uh, could go for knockout on the Zara Aura with my Zara Aura. That doesn't feel bad. So let's just do that. I only need one damage buff to do it. So that seems okay. Let's bench this, and we're going to do that. So we got that. That's good. I actually can retreat. I haven't supported yet, so I can actually just knock out that dude, which is rad. All right, so let's do that. We can take our own three prizes. Yeah. Okay. Seems pretty good. I could Ultra Ball away. I could Viridian and an Ultra Ball away. So that's cool. So let's go Viridian Forest here. And then I could Ultra Ball. Hmm. I don't actually want to, though. Let's just go here. Treat into Zapdos, Dance of the Ancients, did I only have one in the discard pile? I did. Okay. I could full blitz him. Yeah, that's cool. Huh. No, we're not going to full blitz him because then he could just Coco GX for game. So that feels bad. Huh. If he Coco GXs for game, he has not GX attacked yet. Yeah, that's just like an auto lose scenario. So we kind of have to go here. All right. And then save all this for next turn. Let's just uh, Plasma Fist. Take that knockout. Still haven't GX'd yet, so hopefully he doesn't respond. And we can win the game with Tag Bolt. That would kind of be ideal. Tough, tough, tough. Him getting that really insane turn one full blitz was like really hard for me to deal with, but... We can see how explosive it is, right, for this deck to be able to just come back like that. Like, I'm in this game now again, even though I kind of have no business being in the game. Next turn, it looks like he has Guzma. So that's kind of scary. He's promoting the Deden AGX, which makes me a little bit concerned because... I mean, he might just be going for his own big play here to knock out my Pikachu and Zekrom. He would need a little bit more going on. He needs Tapu Koko GX. Yeah, he needs Tapu Koko GX and two damage buffs and a Guzma to win on my Pikachu and Zekrom. But if he does that, uh, that would be insane. Looks like, oh, no way. If he just knocks out my Zara Aura with this, then I like definitely win, dude. Well, not definitely. All right, I, I'm going to qualify that. Not definitely. But if I, I have a chance to win, right? Because he's going to be knocking out my dude here. And then I just need to find Thunder Mountain or enough damage buffs to get him with Zapdos. Come on. We could do it. Has he used his tap? He has used his Tapu Koko. As have I. So we got a shot here. Just not a... All right, all right. It's a little bit tougher. It's tougher than I thought. I only have one energy in place, so we need to figure this one out. Field blower does not help. Let's see, what are our odds? So I need three damage buffs to knock him out with Zapdos. We've got one E power down. I've got this, man. I've got this. We're definitely going to take him out. All right, so we, we got this, Riley. Let's see. We're going to get rid of these. Go take a look at the deck real quick. We got Let Loose into Dene. I've got two E powers, four things, my Thunder Mountain, and a Choice Band. 
how many energy switch? How many energy switcheroo do we got? There's all, my final energy switches are in hand. So we're either saying like, are we more likely to hit all of the qualifiers that we need to knock them out with Zapdos, or are we more likely to hit our one of Thunder Mountain Prism Star? Oh, well, let's just go for it. All right, we gotta get to Dene, it's for starters. Okay, so we're asking ourselves here, I'm just thinning the deck. It doesn't actually really matter at this point. I just need to hit my one of Thunder Mountain. I have 24 cards in deck. That is a lot, but uh, here we go. All right. That or it was going to be go for it with Zapdos. It's looking like I might have been better off going for it with Zapdos. Yikes. Order pad. Order pad. Okay. Definitely want Ultra Ball. We're going to guarantee ourselves. A let loose here. Try and not lose. And then we're going to Lily. There it is. Told you. Told you. Boom. All right. And then we should be able to... I let loose kind of puts me in more danger because he could just bench Zapdos. Um, so I think I just full blitz to the active. Because I don't think that there's actually an easy way for him to win. I was going to see a ton of cards, to be fair. I only had nine cards left in deck, and I was going to be able to let loose. I think the let loose actually gives him an easier win condition, I think, right? I think he just needs, because all he would need, with Thunder Mountain Prism Star, all he would need is, all he would need is literally a two card combo. He needs Zapdos Guzma, that's it, because the Thunder Mountain gives him an attack for free. So, uh, he can win, by Static Shock Guzma on my Zapdos. You think so, Riley? Yeah, because he can. He, I forgot that he can win with that on my Zapdos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did forget that. Now that I'm now that I see this play, all right. I forgot about the Static Shock. He can go Static Shock my Zapdos. He just needs to attach to his Dedenne. Oh my gosh. I guess, yeah, we do have to let loose there. Man, don't do me like this. Energy Guzma, and that's game. Oh my gosh. Please, please. Oh, please, save me. No Energy Guzma, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I see it now. You guys are right. Should probably let loose there. It's a lot to ask for him not to have it. But I don't think he does. I think he would have he would have slapped it down if he had it, dude. He ain't got it. He ain't got it. Oh yeah. We're in there. Let's go. Let's go. Tag bolt for game. GG's. No re. Four prizes. Get them. Pika pads. Busted deck. Busted deck, guys. There we go. Excellent. What a comeback. That was a very exciting game. Awesome. Never punished. Can't get punished. I don't even know how. There we go. Busted deck. So that is it. Pika pads. I think that, honestly, it's one of my favorite decks to play right now. It is, it is very strong. And we came back from... Quite a deficit there in that mirror match. That's for surely. That is uh, that is for sure. All right, let's uh, let's get it with one more game. We can. Uh, I'm gonna finish things off with. I'm gonna finish things off with Whimsicott. All right, one more game. I'm gonna play one with Whimsicott. 
Let's go. All right. I'm going to try that, see what we can do. And this is going to be our last game of the morning. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. It's been an uh, awesome stream so far. I'm going to be back tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the morning crew here at Tricky Gym. Big shout out to everybody who subbed to the channel. Big shout out to everybody who gave the channel a follow. It's uh, It's been an excellent, excellent stream. And I'm very happy with the decks. I think we had one loss today, right? So how could I possibly be mad? That was just one loss today on the whole. Absolutely phenomenal. So I'm really excited about how that went down. Yes, Agent Silver, the beach ball giveaway did happen, unfortunately. So we're going to go grab ourselves a Cottony here. Another Porygon down. I think the Porygon is just a very strong card in this format, but I'm not exactly sure how it could be utilized because stifling decks, man. Stifling decks like like your Pikachu and Zekrom with Let Loose. Like how in the world can you survive turn one Let Loose full blitz? I don't know. As a stage two deck, that's asking a lot. So I don't actually think that that uh, there are a lot of great options for stage two decks in this format because of how hyper aggressive these tag team Pokemon GX decks are. You know, you got turn one full blitz let loose, you've got turn two Guzma flare strike just happening out here every single game with the tag team decks. That's a lot of aggression to weather. You can imagine if I went, if this was my turn one and I went second against a Picaram deck, absolutely smoked. We're saying like, Cottony is getting Guzma, whatever, you know, I can't really fight with that. So we're, uh, you know, I think the Whimsicott deck, the Porygon deck, just fun. It's a lot of fun. I love it. It's kind of my pet deck, but it's got its own consistency issues in the in this format. Thank you so much, Straight Up Godly, for the sub supporting the channel for two months now. You rock, my dude. Thank you, thank you. All right, we're going to get that rainbow energy there and Lily here, see if we can't get some more stuff going on. Unfortunately, it looks like we cannot. So, let's see, timer ball, double heads. Hey, I'll take it. Get ourselves two whimsy cots here. And you know what? Next turn, all right, next turn, we can go get some things. And I'm going to stack my hand with uh, Toy Box GX. There we go. So that is the cool thing about the deck is that Toy Box GX can help. And if you flip a couple of heads, you will have time to set up with your Toy Box GX and create a board state that is very difficult for your opponent to take down. This Guardi deck is looking pretty similar to the one that Otto was rocking there on Tricky Gym as well, which is pretty cool. Plays the Miss Magius and Dust Stone that you can get off of Green's Exploration. And we see my opponent, uh, Art of Battle, just really grinding their deck out, taking their time, first couple of turns, Green's a couple of times, get themselves a Fairy Energy here that they can attach to their Guardian Sylveon so they can eventually start powering that bad boy up. I am looking to probably Guzma and then... Use Toy Box GX. That's what we got going on. But Toy Box GX should allow me to set up this deck just fine. The real bummer is going to be if this dude plays a Ability Charm, which I assume he does. If he plays Ability Charm, we definitely lose. So let's hope that that's not a thing. Here we go. We've got this Whimsy Caught here. And then, uh, yeah, I think I'm cool on everything else. Just Toy Box GX. Going to get ourselves a Porygon, a Rare Candy, a Let Loose, and then a bunch of other energy. Seems about right. Maybe, yeah, seems good. All right, I want to let loose this dude into nothing so that I can just knock him out. That's the game. Hoping that... He does not lay an Ability Charm down this turn. That'd be great. And then we go Rare Candy Porygon. Brat. 
It does have the greens exploration though, so if he's got an ability charm in deck, now is the time to grab it. It looks like he's actually just continuing to grab other greens explorations, so we should be good here, I think, to just run this dude over. I'm talking like we're getting a knockout this turn and next turn if he does not place an ability charm, and I don't think he is. I think he's just going to use Fairy Stong, and then uh, we're, we're chilling with our huge energy blow attacks. Going to be good to go. All right. So we're in there. Start executing that game plan. He's used a lot of greens exploration at this point, so we're going to hope that he can't really find one of those this next turn. Let's just go rare candy into our dude for surely. And let's start use crazy, crazy goat. All right. We got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. That's insane. Yeah, we're going to attach one of those too. And then I'm just going to attach these to this guy. Yeah, so that should do it. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Yeah, like plenty of damage. And then we're going to let loose this dude and shabow. And that's looking pretty good. like this hand for sure. Let's just uh, let's have some fun. Let's hand the deck out. Sure. Just going to go here, ultra ball away. Uh, we'll get something that we don't need, like that Porygon. And then just dead A change. Still have not played a supporter yet. So we can definitely kind of just thin the deck a little bit more. I don't need to attach any more triplers. And we'll just Cynthia up our hand a little bit more. Give ourselves some more options there. Well, or less options, whatever. And then energy blow for knockout and just hope that he ain't got nothing this next turn. And then we go energy and knock out the following turn. All I need is Guzma to be able to win. I've got triple acceleration energy here on my bench guy. So he could go for the GX attack. If he just attaches the fairy energy GX and I flip tails, it's going to be bad. So we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19. I would just need to go for my other Dedene, draw a bunch more cards, see if I can't find the energy I need to win with my second Whimsicott. Just hope that there's not a Fairy Charm ability here off the Bills. We do see he's got the Fairy Charm Lightning there. I doubt he plays more than one. Most of the time the decks are playing, I didn't see what he got there. Did he get the Charm? If he got the Charm, we just scoop it up, dude, like that. That's going to be game. For sure, I, I do not have, he's got Wonder Labyrinth. That fortunately does nothing against me. And a Choice Helmet, all right, I can work with this. And he's gotta try to GX. It's his only route. If he GXs and I flip a Tails, he's really in this game. If I flip a Heads, we just nuke him with this energy. Tails, ah, oh, that hurts, okay. So, it stings a little bit. It's cool though, all right, Whimsicott, go get him, Slugger. It's your turn. Now's your time, Whimsicott. We got Rare Candy into our second Porygon. That is pretty cool. And then can just Ultra Ball here. Let's grab is our other Dedene in the deck. It is. How much energy do I have? Some. Two Triplers. I got enough energy in the deck to do it. So let's, uh, let's go. Got a crazy code here. Attach the Triple. That. And we need to... Hit, so let's go to Dene GX. Ride to Dene, ride. Yes, all right. Beautiful start, we can crazy code. Is, it, is that it? I haven't done the math yet. You know, math very hard, so I have not done that yet. We just, I assume we hit a tripler and it's over, but we got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Tripler and it's over. Let's go deck. All right, I've got 10 cards left in deck. We're about to draw three, it's not, it's not a lot. Let's go, come on. Yes. And that is game. GG, no re, energy blow. Let's get it. 310 damage through the choice band. And that's it. All right, Whimsicott doing its thing. You guys saw it here. We just did 310 damage back to back, busted deck, two different Whimsicots. Didn't even need the ability, dog. Just out here housing with Whimsicott. That's what's up. All right, guys. Thank you so much for an incredible stream. It was a lot of fun. Uh, big shout out to the subs, everybody 
who uh, subbed to the channel, gave the channel a follow, all of the mods. Thank you guys so much. It's been uh, a great week. The viewership's been fantastic, so I really, really appreciate that. It's a great stream this morning. I think we went like we had a win streak of four and a win streak of five. I think we went like nine and one this morning. So I'll take it. Our one loss was with Charizard and we dead drew. Other than that, definitely a good, good day. We showed off uh, Zapdos, Charizard, and Pika Pads, as well as one game with my favorite pet deck there. Absolutely fuego. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys all have a great day. Catch me here tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be grinding out more games on PTCGO. Big shout out to Natalie, who's graduating college this weekend. I'm going to be doing that as well. So something to look forward to. And also, Detective Pikachu in theaters tomorrow. Shout out to Corporal Crow for winning the Detective Pikachu beach ball there as the giveaway that we did. I'll give something away tomorrow in celebration of Detective Pikachu as well. And maybe get a little bit of a longer stream in tomorrow. Maybe we'll go to like one tomorrow. So we're going to go for like a three hour stream tomorrow, something like that. And uh, yeah, you guys all have a great day. Thank you so much. You all rock. Take it easy. Peace.